So here's my newest member, member of the family, um, Charlie. So Charlie used to be an all-star from 2000, back when the scooter revolution had really started to take off. And uh, Charlie was made and designed in uh, Germany. And, um, you know, the concept was, was great. Uh, very small, tiny scooter that could be folded up and packed away. Um, you know, the implementation eh, could have been better. So Charlie's going to be my new project and um, I've got a battery that's coming in that I'm going to be uh, retrofitting him with, which is a, a 48 volt, uh, I think 17 amp hour lithium battery. And that of course is like way too much voltage um, for this little scooter. This scooter was designed to be a 24 volt uh, system. So it had, I think four uh, lead acid gel batteries. And you know, the thing weighed probably about a hundred pounds when everything was uh, loaded on it. So this guy was used, you know, as a, a test bed long ago and uh, a friend had bought it and then never did anything with it. And now I've got it and I want to try and do something with it because it can actually be a, a fun little, little scooter. So on this guy, get this apart for the most part the whole thing is intact except no controller <laughs> no batteries no throttle uh, the rest of it, actually I was missing the key for the uh, boundary door, but I did have the key for the ignition, which was nice. Um, <clears throat> so, now what they had done was kind of interesting. So they had, um, it looked like an off the shelf um, headset gear with two uh, 15 watt 12 volt bulbs in series. Now these things are really inefficient. Today you can get uh, um, like five watt high brightness um, replacements. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with that. Um, for the battery display, um, it was actually a battery display slash status indicator. And um, what they had done So simple bar LED uh, set and um, an 8-bit serial to parallel shift register. So what they were doing is bit banging the um, status codes and battery value out. So this can actually be reused on the controller I'm going to build for this thing. So what are the problems that you know can happen by um, trying to put a 48 volt battery on this? Uh, obviously you're going to overspeed the motor, it's going to destroy you know, burn out, you know, you wipe yourself out because the thing will go too fast. There's all those bad things. Um, I'd like to have this thing not burn out right away. So I'm going to build the controller to limit the voltage output to somewhere between 24 and 30 volts. You know, keep it a little bit more speed than what it had as stock. Stock, I think the controller that came with it, which was this brick that used to sit down, I think here, um, it was, uh, I believe, limited to 20 kilometers an hour. Um, the plate on this thing says it's a 750 watt system, but uh, you know, again, I don't know if you can actually see it very well. Yeah. Anyway, so we have to design the controller to. Uh, limit the voltage so that the top end speed is limited. Limit the current into the motor so that we don't fry the motor. And, uh, you know, a short term overloads are okay, but with these brushed motors, you know, it's hard on the brushes. Um, and then we also need to limit how much current are we pulling out of the battery. And that's again, you know, your BMS will trip if you try to draw too much out of the battery, but. Uh, I'd like to actually manage that. 
Um, I'm not sure how my battery handles regen current, so I don't know if I'm going to implement regen on this controller. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, we'll try a little bit and see how it goes because it's uh, always a little bit more efficient to be able to regen some of that energy back rather than just break it away in heat. So that that's uh, that's the project for now. Oh, Charlie, you are a mess right now, but you will be better. Stay tuned.